Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Arab and Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-May general love reading. Now, keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. Now, you guys know I don't celebrate holidays, but I do love the energy surrounding, you know, People coming together, celebrating people, giving them their flowers. So if you celebrate Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to you. Because as I'm doing this reading right now, it is currently Mother's Day. And if you are someone who has lost their mother or a mother-like figure, I'm sending you guys so much love. Um, and just, I want to put it out there to remember the good times because I feel like that is a part of healing. It won't heal all those wounds, but it is a part of the healing. Just remembering the good moments and the good times that you have and those positive energy exchanges. So I'm sending you love during this time if you are missing someone right now, okay? So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. When I was meditating over your energy, the song that I heard was Lover for Life by Whitney Houston. Miss Whitney Houston happened to be, she was a Leo, so you could be doing Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or you could have those placements in your chart. Also, I've seen angel number 517. So, as always, when I give you guys numbers, go ahead and look it up. Google angel number 517 and leave in the comment section below how those messages resonate for you. I always respond. I always, you know, connect with you guys. So, leave how that resonates with you in the comment section below. Now, what I heard with this and in, in the cards that we ended definitely tie into what I was picking up. The message clear and short and straight to the point was this is your life partner. Let's get into it because I want you guys to see the cards at the top and the bottom of both decks, okay? At the bottom of your main energy deck, you have the Ace of Cups. This is like that eye is like I found the one. That's immediately what I'm hearing. Pisces, Capricorn, um, and I didn't mean to say Capricorn, but Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn. This could also be you feeling as though you have found your person. She's she or he. This person has their sights on this, this specific one. Out of all the fish in the sea, they found their fish. <laughs> Somebody can feel like that about you because you as Pisces is two fish. They can feel like I've, I've, been, I've been doing my fishing. And out of all the fish in the sea, I found my fish. I found my Pisces. In the very back of the deck, you have the major arcana, the emperor. For every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates. We are talking about someone who is a divine counterpart. You are the person's first, middle, last initial could be C, G, M, W, T, E, R, or O. First, middle, last initial. I'm also hearing S. Um, I've heard Sean. Sean and Sam. Someone could work like in construction. Also, I'm getting someone could work in construction. And I'm also getting someone could be like a union employee. <clears throat> I'm getting it also. So this could help, you know, narrow down who this person is that I'm talking about. At the bottom of your clarifying deck, you have the Will of Fortune, which is amazing and beautiful. Okay. Faded and destined connections. It has already been written. It has been preordained. This is something that's meant to go in a direction in your favor as far as love and relationships. And in the back of the deck, you have the hangman stuck in limbo. Now, the hangman is also you guys' energy. So some of you guys may have been holding on to a situation that you should have let go of. I feel like you will be. Okay, you will be letting go of something. Let's see what's right in front of that. Let's see, because I didn't look at that before. Five of Wands, yeah, I need to let go of some type of inner turmoil in regards to a past relationship with that Five of Wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements there. Whatever the case, it looks like you got something very promising coming in. Look, and you see how, as I picked it up, how this one to stick up? This is your lover for life, okay? The Emperor and the Empress, those are divine counterparts. They are with you forever. This is something short-lived. I like it already, Pisces, okay? Let's go ahead and go through the deck. We're going to go through it till we get your major arcana, which is the moon. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of wands. Your ships is getting ready to come in. Ship, a.k.a. relationship. You have a relationship coming in. For some of you all, within the next two to three months. Okay. He has two wands behind him and he's holding a third one. So it's like possibly it could be like two months from now. You could already see your ship coming in, some type of relationship. And for others, it could be three months. We are in May, so three months from now is um, August, and you do have wands here. Leo season is July, August, so it could be around the end of Leo season. You could have a new love interest coming in. This person could be a Leo, but I feel like that would be more so the time frame if you are single. Now, if you are currently in a relationship, it, you could be feeling or realizing like this relationship is going to a new level. You see how it's moving forward? 
you could be realizing this relationship is going to the next level. Okay. So let's go ahead. Yeah, somebody may offer you something, give you a key to their place, a spare key to their car, just letting you know, like, okay, I'm invested. Pinnacles are investments. So this person is going to show you in one way or another that they are invested in the connection and they want to move forward. Someone could be guarded here. But I feel like once, once the air is clear, okay, and as I say air, you got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, little Aquarius you could be dealing with. Once the air is clear, you guys are going to realize that, you know, it's time for the next level. You, you're getting ready to go to the next level. Things are going to go to the next step. Major Arcana Tempest card could be done with Sagittarius. And a Fool card taking a leap of faith into something new. Yeah, I feel like you guys are getting ready to go to the next level in your love life. Bottom of the deck, you got the Devil card, Capricorn. Nine of Cups, can Pisces, Scorpio. So your energy. And then you have the... Um, and then I said, I kept saying, like, moving forward. Things are getting ready to go to the next level, okay? With the world card, this travel distance for a movement. You have Leo, and I did mention Leo, okay? I feel like some of you guys could be moving into a relationship in Leo season. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. With this devil, I feel like this could just be specifically like somebody's sun sign. It could be um, Capricorn. Or it could just feel like such passion with you and this person. Like, you guys could just feel like you overindulge in each other's energy. Because the nine of cups could be like overindulgence also, Okay? So let's go through the deck. We want the moon. And we want the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. And I'm hearing a song, Loving for Life. I'm hearing it even as I'm shuffling it or going through the deck. Yeah, somebody wants forever with you or you guys are going to be talking about forever. It's, it's like, that's going to move very quickly. <laughs> so let's say move very quickly. Look, look what's directly behind you. The chariot, the chariot does what? Moves quite quickly along its path. Right in front of you. Okay, so you guys can see I'm not just pulling anything. Wow, so there's your energy. Male or female, you got the queen of cups. So somebody's leaving a past love interest in the past. Now, I feel like this person going to be salty. Eyes all sad and slumped over. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. She's in between two dogs. Leaving some, someone behind and going in a different direction with a new love interest. Um, someone could be born in the year of the dog. This could be you or love interest. And then you got the star card, wish fulfillment and healing. You, everything that you're wishing for is coming into your life very quickly. Um, some of you guys could end up having a child with this person. This does look like a pregnant belly here. If you are already the mother or the father to someone, <coughs> you guys, like I said, could be going to the next level. When you have kings and queens, they are talking about long term. They don't want something short lived. They're not nice. They're not on for some type of adventure. They want to settle down. They want someone to sit next to them on their throne. Okay? They want to build a castle. They want to build a home with someone. So you have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer here. If you're single, some of you guys can be meeting somebody in Cancer season. As the chariot is Cancerian energy. Cancer season is June, July. I feel like good things are happening for you guys. Like, love for life is making me feel like... You see how the queen just lay here on the table? She's going in the direction of the chariot. You guys are moving forward with a long-term love relationship. Wow. You get the Knight of Cups, your Knight in Shining Armor, somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet. So you guys could definitely be connecting with a fellow water sign. I, I actually love this energy for you guys. It's part of the deck. Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, Anxieties, Worries, and Fears. Some of you guys can be feeling that, fearing that you're going to, you know, be single forever. You could have been single for the last nine plus months. Somebody also could be on their final... Um, we, you could be getting ready to give birth soon. And there could be some anxiety or sleepless nights about delivery. Also, I am getting... Remember what I was talking about with... You see how this this dog is bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and this dog right here looks sad. Look how the eyes are sad. If you were dealing with an air sign specifically or someone that you ended something with in the air sign season, specifically Aquarius, because we stopped right here, right? That could be Aquarius. Because Aquarius season was what, September? Not September, I'm sorry. February, March. What am I? Okay, so February, March for somebody, but sept, um, Aquarius time frame is January, February. But September may stand out for somebody. That may be somebody's birth month. March may be someone's birth month. Um, you could be dealing with a March Pisces for someone. You could be a March Pisces. But Aquarius season is January, February. And this is, I'm just saying that if you ended something with someone in Aquarius season, this person, either Aquarius season or Aquarius person, this person could really still be in their head knowing that you're a catch and knowing that you're going to, you know, 
somebody else is gonna, you know, steal your heart is what I'm getting. Somebody else is gonna steal your heart. And they don't want to see you move on. You see how she has the swords crossed, her arms across, across her chest. She's blindfolded. They don't want to see you move on. If you're dealing with an air sign or someone that you end things with an air sign season, they do not want to see you move on to somebody else. Look, keep getting this card. And there's 78 cards in each deck, and this person does not want to see you move on. They don't want to see it. Look, didn't I say it? No. Sword up is yes, sword down is no. They do not want to see you move on to somebody new. Hmm. Just seen that sun card. Again, you know, it's Leo energy. It could be a Leo. Ten of Wands, carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. You release somebody that was a heavy burden or they, the relationship just felt heavy. And you're going in a new direction, okay? Because the chariots take you down a specific path. It's a faded and destined path. This is universal energy. So that's the universe stepping in saying, we've cleared the path. There's not a roadblock, a speed bump, nothing that could stop you from your journey of moving forward into happiness. Some of you all have strong ambitions and, and goals of being a mother or starting a family with someone. If you're within, you know, childbearing years. Some, I'm also, and I never get that with this card, but I'm also getting something about adoption. I feel like someone just wants to build a family with someone, you know. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups. Clarify for the Queen of Cups for Pisces. Okay, you have a page of wands. I feel like, yeah, I feel like something ended with a fire sign or a fire sign season. Leo, Sash, Aries, Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. There's a child there hanging on, clinging on to that mom. You got it in reverse. So you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So an air sign, you could have ended things with an air sign and, and an air sign and a fire sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or it could have happened in a time frame. So air sign, fire sign energy is very strong here. With this um, Knight of Wands, Knights are young, youthful. They still have some growing and expansion to do in their life and I feel like this person wasn't on your level to begin with this past person and that's why she's turning her back on it this person could have also been a dog like literally a low down dirty dog and that's why she's turned her back on this person but this person is trying to come back towards you they don't want to see things in they don't want to see things wrap up it doesn't matter what they want because the universe is telling you that you got somebody new coming in now if you're in a current relationship and you want that situation to work you may have Realize that this person is very immature in their thought process, but you're trying to find out how it is you can move forward with this person to make things work. Bottom of the deck, and I feel like you're going to get some type of clarity about it. We had this in the very beginning in this deck, right? This is your energy as well. Upright. This is one who, someone who's not seeing the world clearly. They're seeing things from a warped perspective. But in reverse, this is like that aha moment. You guys are having an aha moment. For a lot of you all, your aha moment was turning your back on this person. Like realizing, okay, I have to turn my back. Because this person is very immature. I want you guys to see here, as I pick the cards up, they're facing each other. But here on the table, she's going this way and the page is going that way. So it's like you guys were on two different, you know, hemispheres, if you will, of two different minds and that's why this person had to go and you're moving in a direction to go towards something new you've had an aha moment here and that's a major so that's definite that's going to clarify for the chariot clarify for the chariot connected to pisces summer rise and venus okay yeah seven of cups you guys got options you have a love interest coming in that it's going to shock you someone could be born in the year of the snake here but whoever this person is it's going to be shocking to you I feel like it's going to be a fellow water sign. You got water, 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 water. It could be a fellow water sign. Because even here with the um, star card, that's Aquarius, but she's sitting in water. You get what I'm saying? For some of you guys, gonna, you're going to be shocked at how strong the connection you have with this person who is a water sign. The Seven of Cups is illusion, confusion, fellow scatter, but also having options. For some of you all, it's very interesting. I feel like you may be shocked because it looks like electric shock around this person. This person could be an electrician. Um, you may be very shocked at who this person is because you may already know this person. You may already know this person is what I'm getting here. Bottom of the deck, you have a page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys can meet this person and or reconnect because I'm here to reconnect now. Yeah, because I'm here electricity. If you know, if you think about electricity, you, you got to plug things up. You got to connect it to something for the power to work. Huh. You can reconnect with someone in Gemini season. Gemini season is toward the end of this month. I don't think most people know this, but yes, this is watery energy, but the Queen of Cups is also Gemini. So for some of you guys, it could be a Gemini. Or you could be reconnecting with someone in Gemini season. And it looks like this, this relationship will go the distance. That chariot can go the distance. 
So whatever this is, it's going to go the distance with a new person, especially if you meet them in Gemini season or reconnect with someone in Gemini season. I really feel like it's going to shock you because for some of you all, you may have just considered this person a friend or associate and never even thought about this person as a love relationship, but the universe is going to prove that to be quite different. Okay. So Pisces, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.